Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful day. We thank you for the reason that we are here to celebrate as Kedron and Sydney vow uh, before you and before all these friends and family that have gathered to spend the rest of their lives in married union together. Thank you for the love that you've given them one for another. We pray that you would bless this day and bless this union. Amen. Hi, my love. This is officially the last letter I write to you as my fiance. Because Kedron, we did it. Starting today, I will be your wife and I will be writing letters to my husband. What I can say to you is that no, I honestly was not grooming you when I first came into your family, but I was so taken back when I saw the man you grew into. It was the day you taught me how to rope, the day we made that little in how many years contract, and the day after that you carried my saddle for me. I couldn't remember the last time I had so much fun and laughed so hard. From then on, you weren't just my best friend's brother. You were a man I very much wanted to get to know. And now, you're the man I very much cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with. You're my man. You're my best friend. And very soon today, you're going to be my husband. Well, sweetheart, we did it in only a couple hours. I am finally going to be able to call you my wife. If someone would have told me all those years ago where I had a crush on you and considered you the absolute standard that I should strive for, that today I would be marrying that girl, I would have told them they were absolutely nuts. But here we are just a few moments away from what I guarantee is the best thing that has ever happened to me. I have found that the closer this day has come, the more that I think about all those big moments in a relationship. Our first kiss and how absolutely lovely moment it was, or all those late nights we spent together during those first few months, we spent keeping what we had a secret. And quite possibly my favorite memory was your face the moment I told you that I loved you before I left Ontario. All these moments with you have been the best moments of my life, and it's been because you've been by my side for them. You are the best thing to ever happen to me, Sydney, and I promise I will never let you go. Kedron, I love you. I'm so proud of this love we've built. Thank you for pushing me to be a better person. Thank you for supporting my faith. And sweetheart, thank you for choosing me to bind your life to. I love you most, cowboy. Come beside the storm In the way you're meant to I couldn't say for sure But I wouldn't ask for more Adrian, you are the man that I pray to God every day, thanking him for sending you to me. I am in awe of the man that you are and the one that you are becoming. Adrian, you've always told me that I was the girl of your dreams, that I was your standard. Thank you for becoming the man of mine and exceeding all of my standards. Every day you continue to surprise me and hold my heart safer than I ever could have known or ever imagined. You're everything that I could have wanted and I am so proud to be yours. I never thought I'd get a love like this. One full of passion, loyalty, continuous support. Thank you for giving it to me and thank you for creating it with me. You truly know the good, the bad, and the really mean versions of me. You know my heart and I'm so grateful to get to be the one who knows yours. I can't wait to start this life with you. So you keep growing as a man, as a husband, and eventually a dad. I'm proud of the partnership that we've created and the love that we've built so far. We've been through more than we probably should have already, and it's been as a team. The distance and trainings have only made us closer, even though we were far apart. 
It's taught us how to cherish time and make the tiniest moments the most profound. Today, here, right now, in this moment, I get to become your wife. I get to become your partner. And officially, you get to become my best friend. Kedron, today and every day after, I promise you a selfless love. I promise to put you in our relationship forefront and be your rock. I promise to never stop writing letters on trainings or deployments and to be the calm on the phone if there's chaos around you. I promise that if you should ever need it, I'll be your safety net and I'll hold on strong. I promise to treat you with continuous respect and honor all that who you are and all that who we are. I promise to push you when you need it and to grow this love with you every day. I promise you a lifetime of good night kisses and kitchen dancing and to keep you laughing because I love the sound of that laugh. I vow to be yours and your home to come back to. Sydney, since the start of our relationship, I have found myself making an assumption about us. This assumption began three months after we started dating, saying to myself, this is it. This is amazing. There is absolutely no possible way that our relationship would get any better than it is right now. Till around three months later, when I would find myself thinking, my gosh, was I ever wrong about that. This right now is perfect. It's amazing. Ten times better than three months ago. I would think to myself, there's absolutely no way that I could possibly love her more. It's perfect. And off I would go again, doing it over and over again, finding that every three months or so, there I was staring at you thinking that life could never get any better than it was at that moment with you. But this morning I woke up, and I couldn't help but think to myself that this truly is it. Today is the day that I get to call you my wife and promise you my eternal love. Here in front of our family and friends, this right here, right now, is the best it ever has been, and I have never loved you truly more than I do right now. But as perfect as right now is, don't be shocked if three months from now, you find me looking at you, thinking to myself, boy, was I wrong. Our love can grow even stronger. And I truly believe that I am in for a life of that exact same thought coming to me every few months. Sydney, I promise to try my best to come home to you every night that I can. I promise to never stop our kitchen dances while we cook our dinner. I promise to always do my best to communicate to you my feelings and emotions. I promise that every night we do share together before we go to sleep, I will kiss you three times to symbolize I love you. I promise that from this day forward, put you and our possible family to come if we should be so lucky to have one, first in every aspect and part of my life. In as much as you, Kedron and you, Sydney, have con thus consented in holy matrimony and have witnessed the same before God and these friends. By virtue of the authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel and by the laws of this province, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Respect, openly love, and adore the beautiful, independent, and strong woman you set your eyes on, Kedron, the woman you prepared your life for and have encompassed into yours and our realm of family. Sydney, you are his person. You are the individual that lights up his eyes and creates for him the future family. Your heart is so large and willing to encompass not only his quests, but to continue pursuing your own. You both know how to set goals and then go after achieving them. Yet one of your most endearing qualities, Sid, is how you value family. Karen and I, I, along with all of your new siblings, welcome you, Sid, into our family. Congratulations to the both of you, and may the future encompass bountiful moments and memories of happiness. Sydney, please put your hand on the table. Kedron, please put your hand on top of hers. Nope, Sydney, take your hand off. 
follow instructions. Sydney, look at Kedron. Tell him you love him. Kedron, tell Sydney you love her. And cheers, ladies and gentlemen. That is the first and last time in this marriage. Kedron will have the upper hand and the last word. Roll down the windows, drive on the same road. It never gets old, living in paradise. Found in the following contract will be an agreement between Sydney Fisher and Kedron Schwetz. If Sydney Fisher and Kedron Schwetz are not married by April 27, 2025, they will get married and live happily ever after. This contract is also valid if they choose to marry prior to 2025. As much as we give Kedron a hard time, if you ask any of his siblings, you're our favorite too. So let's raise a glass to the lovely couple. Good luck, Sydney. feel that Sid and Keetron, you're natural. That'll last a long time. Please hoist your glasses and welcome Keetron to our family and our families to our families. Roll down the windows, drive on the same road. It never gets old, living in paradise. Umbrella palm trees, cover. And I will toast to my friends that I hold dear to my heart, to Mr. and Mrs. Sweats for many years of love and happiness.